Hi, this is Miss Andrea, and I'm here at EcoStation at the Children's Museum in Houston. I'm going to do a project with you today um, that is a lot play with uh, MD Anderson sponsoring. So a lot of what we learn, we learn when we're little, when we're playing, because play is actually a way to learn a lot of things that you need to know. So we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of play, but we're also going to learn some things. What are we going to do? Geometric bubbles, square bubbles. Did you know that you could make square bubbles? I'm going to show you today. It's pretty awesome. So what do you need for this project? I'm going to show you first how to make your own bubble solution at home. So you do need soap, but if you want your bubbles to uh, have enough strength, you also need to add something else to them. So you can add glycerin. Glycerin you can find at your um, drug stores, or you can add some corn syrup. I added a little bit of both today. And I'll tell you the formula for that in a little bit. You'll also need something to stir with and you'll need a container to put it in. To make the actual uh, geometric shapes, what you're gonna use is pipe cleaners and straws. So really easy stuff. You'll just need some scissors, some pipe cleaners and some straws, and then we can make some different tetrahedrons and um, all kinds of really cool stuff. Then we'll make our square bubbles. So in order to make your solution, what I used on mine today was I took my soap. Uh, I used Dawn soap in this case. I've heard that Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo is also really good to use. And I put a half a cup, so I took my measuring cup and I put half a cup of the dishwashing uh, soap in there. And then I put it in my container. And then I took six cups of water. So sometimes if you have hard water, it will cause a problem for the bubbles. So if you can use distilled water, it's best. But I just use regular tap water for mine. So six cups of water. And then I use a tablespoon of glycerin. But I found that I was having some trouble with my bubbles really having enough strength. So I added a little bit of corn syrup. You can either use glycerin or corn syrup, or you can use both. But you wanna be careful because if you put too much, uh, you're gonna also have trouble with your bubbles. So try to keep the ratios more or less uh, right. And then I just use my tablespoon uh, measuring for that. It's better if you can let it sit. You can stir it a little bit. You do not want to have any frothy stuff on the top because it will interfere with your making your wands. And we don't want anything to interfere with that. It's better too if you can let it sit overnight because then it'll settle and it'll get completely dispersed in there. I was not able to do that, um, but I was still able to make my bubbles this morning. So how do we make our shapes? First, we're looking at our geometric shapes, right? These are 3D. This is like, if you're just looking at the one side, it's a square, right? It's just a square. But if you put all those squares together, you could form a cube. And with the cube, um, you're going to have, how many straws are you gonna use here? You're gonna use four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you're gonna need 12 pieces of straws. If you're making a cube, they all need to be the same size. We have here also a pyramid or a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron is four sides, right? One, two, three, four. So it's a pyramid, but it's also a tetrahedron. So I'm only gonna make those two shapes today. Um, you can also make, you can do another pyramid on the other side, right? You could, you could make a rectangle or you could make, um, you could make a elongated uh, square that has triangles on the end. There's all kinds of stuff you can make. This is the pretty cool part. Once you get all these things working, um, you can blow a bubble inside of there and actually make a four-sided bubble. Bubbles are uh, round because of the pressure, right? It's the most efficient way to keep that air in there. So there's the least, uh, least amount of surface area. So when you blow a bubble, it becomes round because of the air pressure and because of the, of the water uh, surface tension those water molecules want to hold on together. What the glycerin does or the corn syrup does is it helps to keep the water in so your bubbles last longer. You could actually maybe even bump those bubbles and make them go up in the air. You have to wear gloves because the oils on your hands will affect the bubbles. So let's stick with this one today. The way that I made this one is that I made, um, I cut all my pieces and what you can do is cut a straw in half. Actually I cut mine at the same time. So I cut two straws in half, and you can measure it out or you can kind of eyeball it because you can always fix that. And then I took those four pieces and I cut those in half. 
or you can take another four, depends on the size that you want, right? So this is about that size and to cut in half again, you'll make the smaller one. So for the larger one, all I did was I cut those and see how they're not quite right. I didn't take the time to measure them, but that's because I knew I could come through and just cut them. Simple as that. And then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and put your pipe cleaner through there. So you're going to do that with each one of them. Or you can take a long pipe cleaner and you can just put it through two or three of them. So you can take it, put another one in there, put a third one in there maybe. Let's see if we can get a third one in there. Might not be able to. That might be a little bit hard. But see how you can already start forming this. And you can take another pipe cleaner for the one that you're about to, the fourth side. You can put it in and form your square. And your square is just the one side, right? So you need to make another square. Now there's several ways that you can do that. You can make each individual one or you can just add to the one that you have. So you're gonna take them, try to make it with a little bit of space. See how that one's kind of got more in there? That's gonna cause a problem for me. So bend your corners to make sure that it's as straight as possible. Because if it's not straight, you're gonna have a problem. And then just twist the ends together. So you can see how you can make this one. You can add another one here and you could put another square on the side of that. That's that side and you can do that to this side and then add yours. So I'm not gonna go through that whole process because I think that you understand the process of it. It's the same thing with the triangle. Uh, you make one triangle and then add the other side to it. Then you start to make your pyramid and then you'll just do the bottom one. So the easiest way, just put your pipe cleaners in there and tie them on the end. Now here's the really cool part. The really cool part is in being able to make your tetrahedron. So the way this works is with surface tension also. You put your, you wanna make sure also, just a caution, you don't want frothy. So if it's like real frothy on the top, you wanna to take a spoon or I used a pipe cleaner and a napkin and I took that off. You can also use a spoon. If it's got a lot of bubbles in it, it's gonna cause a problem with your, your smooth lines. And so you're going to put your um, wand in here and you want to get all four sides. Make sure that all four sides have bubble in them. And if you have all four sides with bubble in them, you're going to end up with something that looks like, let's see, like this. Oops, one more. And so there, did you see it? The square bubble. Who would ever have thought? I mean, it's a really, really cool thing to see. And I'll just try the um, pyramid or the tetrahedron right away, you can see. So I think the smaller ones are a little bit easier to work with. And I have a little loop up here that I use to uh, make it work. Ah, it blew up too fast. But I have a little bit of a, do it real gently. And there you go. There is a pyramid bubble inside of our pyramid or tetrahedron. It's pretty cool. So I've showed you how to do a couple of them. You can make other shapes out of it. You can make, um, you can make shapes that have six sides or eight sides, an octahedron that has eight sides. So it, really there's no limit to it. And the best thing about it is you can still make bubbles out of it. So you can run and make your bubbles. You can also make huge bubbles, like you still have all of this bubble, a solution, and you can take string and straws. So you can take um, some string and put straws through them and then run it through here and you can run outside and you'll get these huge bubbles because now your bubbles are very strong. So in order to do that, I don't have any string with me, but I'll show you. Put the string through here and the string will be up here. You put it in your bubble solution and bring it up. You'll have a big bubble and then you can go and it'll make big bubbles. So there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with it. So I hope you have fun playing and I hope that you're able to make the actual square bubble because it's really impressive to people. And I hope that you learn something while you're doing it. That's the point of play. It's really to learn.
This is Miss Andrea signing out.